that must have been full of hazards. Yeah. This film, from I've seen other clips from it, but yeah. I haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, wh wh where did you run into danger and trouble on this one, if anything? You blew well, up things. You had a lot of stunts. We blew up things. We had a lot of stunts. We had a lot of people uh, involved. A lot of extras in Tunisia. We had over. Uh, 600 extras working a archaeological dig, which in itself was hazardous because it was 135 degrees in the shade every day. And we were all suffering from all the things you suffer from when you're hmm. Lawrence and his army walking through the Sahara. And we were shooting on the tongue of the Sahara. It was the parched tongue of the Sahara. It was an awful experience in Tunisia. But I guess the scariest part of making the movie was the fact that it is a sequence where Harrison Ford and Karen Allen are thrown into a chamber with 7,000 live snakes. Yes, I thought that was a press agent's invention when I read about that, but, uh, oh, and how did they decide on 7,000 and not 6,000 or 6,500? <laughs> well, at first we budgeted <laughs> 2,000 snakes, but the problem was when you put the 2,000 live snakes on the floor, they all huddled into a corner and it looked like just a little dust swept under the rug. Right. Realize to cover the entire <coughs> floor of the set, which was a very, rather large set, we would need about 7,000 snakes. Who has those available in the Yellow Pages? Uh, how do you get the... It was the British Yellow Pages. And uh, they came from all over the place. They came from Scandinavia, they came from France, they came from Germany. A lot of them were garter snakes, but a lot of the more de deadly snakes, the cobras, we got from India. And we got the boa constrictors, I'm not sure from where, and the pythons came in. Is and there a it snake was a, uh, wrangler? Who we had many people? snake wranglers in the film. We had four yeah. of them. They were always being bitten by everything but cobras, of course, because that's, that's deadly. But the pythons were going after everybody. And in the movie, when something bites and snaps and grabs hold of the character, that's a python. And those are real teeth, and that's a real actor going, why am I here, and why did I make this movie? <laughs> yes, that's you can really see That's really happening. That's not, that's not fake. You can see Karen, uh, in one scene, I think, is, uh, that I saw, maybe it was an outtake. It was, I mean, documentary style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she shrieks and looks down like something bit her on the leg. Did she get bitten at all? Or? She wasn't bitten. She, mm -hmm. she was terrified all through the movie because of the snake. She hated snakes, as did everybody else, most everybody else. Uh, and when she got involved in the, in the movie, I, she couldn't scream loud enough because sometimes when you're terrified, you go to scream rather than the noise coming out, it's <sighs> Yeah, that's right, a real <sighs> you know, scream. It's a real <sighs> <Yeah>. <sighs> And uh, nothing came out, so I thought I needed something to get some... So when she least suspected it, I dropped a snake from the scaffold overhead and it came around her neck and she let out a scream that I was able to use in all of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, made, I made 11 copies of the scream and kept cutting it in. That's a good scream. That last scream, she'll never beat that one. Yes. And uh, it was a terrible, cruel trick to play on her, but ever yes. since then, she never looked up when she didn't see me around the set. She would always look up when I wasn't around. Mm. It was a Wide scream. Yeah, yes, it's sort of a method. Oh. Method acting, method directing, it's kind of a... Did you mean that there are people who will pay to let a snake bite, who can be paid to... All bites were accidental. All bites, yeah. Our assistant director was, was, had a very severe bite on his hand by a python who wouldn't let go. They had to actually walk over and give a little flick on the snake's tail, and the shock wave went up to the snake's head, and then he decided to let go. Is that what you do with a, with a python bites? You, you give him a little, little, a flick little, on little, the table. little gentle flick on the table. But the English, the British, are so amazing. I mean, they endure so many things. And, and, and David Tomlin, who was bitten by the snake, just walked around the stage saying, uh, help, please. Help. <laughs> Help, please. So, so, can't get this bleeding thing off me. You know, yes, it, it was like that. And it was, uh, it was amazing. I mean, they, what they survived. Yeah. Can't help noticing I'm about to die. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> They're so polite sometimes. It's irritating. So polite, so polite. It was, it was great working in England. It's a wonderful place to make movies. Is it? More yeah. so than here? No, no, it's sort of the same here, but it was a new experience for me because uh, it was just a gentleman. It's, it's like when you shoot Skeeter Trap. It's so much better shooting European Trap than American Trap. And it's that way of making movies. There's just something classy about it. Mm. They dress in sport jackets and yeah. ties. And <laughs>